Hello everyone, I'm Pat. Today I'm going to be showing you the 1998 Ford E450 Ultra by Golfstream. So it starts right up with no problems. The vehicle has only 60,000 miles on it. Start showing you uh, the outside. Uh, up here, looks a bit wavy. Down here is a small crack. Bumper, you can see it has a uh, dent in it, and uh, it's got a trailer hitch, and the uh, the hook up here for it for the brake assist. Let's uh, show you the outside compartments. There's one here. Goes all the way through to the other side. In here is your uh, electrical hookup. And also this compartment goes through to the other side. Inside here is your outdoor plumbing. A little faucet for out here looks like this even uh, pulls out a little bit sewer outlet connection inside here looks like just a access point to get to uh, electrical stuff Another uh, compartment that goes all the way through. <sighs> Down 
here is the generator. Fires right up. So the generator works. Oh. And uh, up there in the back, that's a, a reverse cam. So you can see directly behind you. I'll show you how that looks when uh, we get to the test drive portion. Another, uh, ah, excuse me, how can I put another storage area? There's this big thing here that came with it. We're not sure, I'm not sure exactly what it is. And then this here looks like a huge cover for the uh, camper. Small, uh, smaller uh, storage area. They have the uh, the blocks for you to park on. This is uh, one of those, the other side of one of the uh, compartments that go all the way through. Underneath here, this is the other side of the, the water holding tank. Here, the propane tank. Then the other side of the uh, the front compartment that goes all the way through. It's got a. few things that came with it. Alright. Oh. One more area here. Got the uh, the rods so you can pull out the awning. probably wondering why I came in through this way well I forgot I to unlock this door here and I don't know which key it is so we're just gonna open it this way now uh, down here is a step 
We have a switch right here. How cool is that? <clears throat> Step comes in and out with no problems. Let's uh, start our tour in the back. Nice bed. Down here it's got the thing for all your shoes or whatever you want to put in there. Got a small cabinet here. Bigger one there few of them all over so there's a good amount of storage storage space <clears throat> thermostat so we could see that's better some more pillows more uh, storage space down here Nice size bathroom. Good size, nice size shower there. All right, moving along the kitchen. It's got a gas burning stove. Got the microwave, pretty good size. cabinet space the sink and then these here are fitted so that you can just put them over top and then you have uh, extra counter space or something uh, to put your food up on. Right. Got the freezer. Uh, we don't know if it's working because we uh, haven't turned it on. Uh, 
these bars here that go across like that so your food doesn't go uh, flying around as you're traveling. Now the chair, the seats. This one here very easily folds out into a bed. Someone can sleep there nice and comfortable, maybe two people. This one, I just gotta move these first. part is we got to move it put that up right in there and then You have a bed, comfortable bed for one or two people. Let's uh, bring it back up now. back in all right so there you go so you see that both the beds, they fold open and close up very easy, little effort. I mean, I was able to do it while holding this camera. You got the TV. There's like a cable hook up and uh, some speakers here. And then you got more cabinets. A big old bed up here. This looks like it could comfortably fit two people. Some more cabinets.
right, it's locked. Okay, well, we gotta improvise here. All right, so the driver's seat is in very good condition. Looks intact. Passenger seat, also very good condition. Nice clean engine bay. You know, it's a little hard to see, but uh, you can almost kind of see the engine. It's running smoothly, there's no roughness. All right, so next we're going to do, check the lights and tires. For the tires, I have this tool right here, which will measure the, thre the tread in 30 seconds of an inch. So our first tire here is going to be 15, 30 seconds of tread. We've got the headlights, the right turn signal. This tire, 15, 30 seconds. This tire here is going to be, maybe do that. It's going to be uh, 13 30 seconds. And this tire is going to be the same 13 30 seconds. turn signal and the running lights this tire 13 30 seconds <coughs> and this one also 13 30 seconds left turn signal and the high beams
So uh, over here is a uh, leveler. So as you're parking, you know uh, how level you are. And then we also have the uh, hydraulic leveling system. Let's check out the heat. And that's blown out very hot. Let's try AC. So the radio works, and the AC is blowing nice cold air. All right, I think we're ready to go for a test drive now. Let's start out in uh, reverse, and as I said earlier in the video, we have the reverse cam here. is a huge help for driving something like this. Alright, so uh, reverse is good and uh, this particular camera it'll stay on the entire time until you turn it off so you can always see directly behind you even while you're moving forward. Alright, so last thing I want to mention is that we have a whole bunch of keys here that go with the camper 
I'm not sure where exactly they all go. And I can say it looks like we have two dry two keys for the ignition, definitely. So that's been the 1998 Ford E450 Ultra by Golfstream. I hope this video has answered any questions you have about the vehicle. Don't forget, you can like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and click that bell so you can receive notifications. Also, check the description below for a link to our website where you can view the rest of our inventory. Thank you for your time and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.